Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for uh, staying with us during this uh, delayed uh, se service of Vespers and Benediction this afternoon. I was called away to the hospital, and I would ask you, along with your own prayers, to keep in mind the particular patient I saw this evening. As always, if you wish to follow along with Vespers, you'll find the order of service on our parish website, and there's a link from the YouTube video. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with kindless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reign in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom heaven and earth adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. And we begin our psalms with the first antiphon. God has appointed him to judge everyone, living or dead. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master, standing at your right hand, will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God has appointed him to judge everyone, living or dead. Happy is the man to whom the Lord takes mercy. He will never waver. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The wicked man sees and is angry, grinds his teeth and fades away. The desire of the wicked leads to doom. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Happy is the man to whom the Lord takes mercy. He will never waver.
God fulfilled what he had foretold in the words of all the prophets that Christ would suffer. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God fulfilled what he had foretold in the words of all the prophets that Christ would suffer. Our short reading comes from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. All the runners at the stadium are trying to win, but only one of them gets the prize. You must run in the same way, meaning to win. All the fighters at the games go into strict training. They do this just to win a wreath that will wither away, but we do it for a wreath that will never wither. The fourth Sunday of Lent marks the slightly over halfway point. There are only three weeks to go now until Easter Sunday. Next week we move into Passion Tide, and we'll see that reflected in the church when the statues are all covered in purple veils. After that, we'll move on into Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday and then into the Passion of Jesus, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then at last, the Easter Vigil and Easter Day. This week gives, allows us to pause and collect our thoughts as before all that begins. And it also gives us the opportunity to have the celebrations of St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday and then St. Joseph's Day on Friday. St. Patrick's Day this year will seem quieter than normal. Even last year, we were still having public masses more or less as normal on St. Patrick's Day. In fact, you might remember that was the last day that we had a normal mass in either this church or in Dervik. This year, of course, we won't be having public mass together, but we'll still be encouraged to pray, to celebrate, and to be inspired by Patrick, to follow in his footsteps, to want to grow more deeply in love with God, and to share that faith with other people, so that Ireland can be what Patrick believed it could be, a land of saints and scholars, even in our own time. Friday then, on the other hand, allows us the chance to celebrate St. Joseph perhaps more than we do normally. St. Joseph, of course, actually outranks St. Patrick. He was the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus. Of course he does. He outranks every male saint, every, everybody apart from Our Lady. And yet, here in Ireland, because of our great that devotion to St. Patrick, St. Joseph's Day, following, falling two days later, sometimes gets overlooked. This year, as we find ourselves in lockdown, they're both going to be sort of celebrated in the same way. But that's an, an encouragement to us to make as much fuss of St. Joseph as possible, especially this year, the year of St. Joseph that Pope Francis asked us to celebrate. Let's ask God this week that we will celebrate and mark both of those holy days well. They're a day off Lent if we want to relax our penances, but more importantly, they are days to pray and to enjoy the blessings that God has given us, the inspiration he gives us through these saints, and the protection that they give us from heaven. Hill Glorious St. Patrick tells us that Patrick, in those high in those mountains above, is still looking down on Aaron's green valleys, and St. Joseph is the guardian of the church around the whole world, looking after us from heaven, just as much as he looked after Mary and Jesus in, when they were uh, living in Nazareth. May those two saints bless us this week, 
and prepare us for the second and solemn parts of Lent. Our short responsory. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Listen, Christ, to the prayers of those who cry to you. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. And the antiphon to Our Lady's Magnificat. The man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. Let us give thanks to Christ, our head and our master. Let us pray to him with trust and humility, for he served all people and was good to everyone. In the response to our prayers, Lord Jesus, visit your family. Lord Jesus, visit your family. Lord, help the bishops and priests of your church who share in your office of head and pastor. Unite them with yourself to lead all people to the Father. Lord Jesus, visit your family. Send your angels to protect those who travel, keep them from harm, and bring them safely home. Lord Jesus, visit your family. Teach us to care for everyone. Make us more like you in serving others. Lord Jesus, visit your family. Help us to form a human community where all people live in friendship. Lord, unite us in your love. Lord Jesus, visit your family. Show your love for the dead. Let them see the light of your face. Lord Jesus, visit your family. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, in your surpassing wisdom, you reconcile man to yourself through your word. Grant that your Christian people may come with eager faith and ready will to celebrate the Easter festival. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now move to benediction of the Blessed Sacrament.
salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, bella premund hostilia, daruber fair auxilium. Uni trino que domino, sit sempiternam gloria, quibitam sine termino, nobis donet in patria. Lord, on this late Harry Sunday, we ask you to fill us with your joy. Strengthen us to continue our Lenten journey. Lord, we adore you. Help us to grow in faith, hope, and love. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our faith. We ask you to bless uh, our parish, our diocese, and our country, and to give us all a stronger faith so that we might win other souls for you. Lord, you know the intentions we keep in the privacy of our own hearts, the concerns and anxieties we feel. Strengthen us, Lord, and may you touch our hearts with grace this evening. Answer those prayers that you wish to answer and give us courage to trust in you always. Cantum ergo sacramentum, vene remer ternubi, et anticum documentum, novo cedat ritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensum de effectui. Genitori, genitorque, laus et jubilatio, salus honor virtus cuque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abut roque, comparsit laudatio. Amen. Panem de celo presitis dies, omne delectamentum in se habentem, oremus, Deus qui nubis of sacramentum mirabili, passionis tu in memoriam reliquisti, privo equesimus, ita nos copris de sanguinis tui, Sacra Mysteria Venerari, ut redemptionis tui fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculorum. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And with that, we come to the end of our devotions on this Sunday evening. Uh, may Christ, who has blessed you there in benediction, uh, continue to bless you throughout the rest of the week, and particularly for the rest of today, they tarry or mothering Sunday. We finish with our anthem to Our Lady, which during Lent is the Latin Ave Regina Celorum. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex quamundo lux est torta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super omne speciosa, Vale o vale decora, E pro nobis, Christum exul.